My name is the City Council of Portland met Wednesday and failed to bring up a Texas trade and travel ban. The call for an emergency resolution by the mayor of Oregon's largest city was postponed. It's intended to voice opposition to new abortion restrictions that took effect in Texas last week. Wednesday, Texas Senator John Cornyn dismissed the threat and the negative headlines targeting Texas. I'm not worried about it. Um, our friends in Oregon, if they don't want to come to Texas, that's fine. People from every other state are certainly coming here. Ignoring a threat from a state with a population smaller than the DFW Metroplex is one thing, but the abortion law has gained the attention of the federal government. It just seems, I know this sounds ridiculous, almost un-American. The signing of new election rules Tuesday also added fuel to the political rhetoric that's burning in Texas. So I don't want to hear this nonsense and the lies that we continually hear that it's tough to vote in Texas. If Governor Abbott and Go Lieutenant Governor Patrick's had the Pinocchio rule in place, their noses would be pretty big in the Oklahoma border. It's not unusual to have tough debates in Texas, but the senator suggested it may be a time to take a deep breath and a break from social media. We expect people to have sharp differences of opinion. The only thing I think we should ex also expect is people to treat each other respectfully and civilly and uh, not engage in sort of the name calling and, uh, uh, that goes along with some of what we see today in our polarized, uh, polarized uh, uh, politics. But his call for civility comes at a difficult time. New voting lines are now being drawn for a fast approaching election campaign season. We'll get through this like we always do.